always rainbows and unicorns going full-time entrepreneurship. Uh, within the first six months of uh, walking away from my job, um, my wife and I had struggles in entrepreneurship. Um, here I was, um, I thought it was a big shot, I'm going full-time, I fired my boss, I'm an, I'm an entrepreneur, and I, I didn't have the skills um, I didn't understand the self-discipline that it took to be a, a true entrepreneur. So we struggled. We struggled for quite a bit of time. Um, my, first, my first year as a full-time entrepreneur, um, it was hard to pay the bills. Um, we got to a point to where we had to downsize and we moved in with my mother-in-law. And so imagine this, right? I'm a grown man. I'm um, living on the couch in my mother-in-law's house. Uh, I got my daughter there. My daughter is a newborn daughter. She's six months old, my wife. And imagine the magnitude of a man having to go to his mother-in-law and borrow money or not be able to pay rent. That's what, that's what it brought me down to. But here's what I do know about adversity and challenges. That year, 2015, was a rough year for us. Um, it was the toughest year of my life, but the best year of my life. I'll tell you why, because in that year, I had to seek God, um, I had to personal development and grow. I read 51 books front to back on personal development from subjects like, like politics to leadership to, to raising girls, raising boys, marriage, relationships, communication, all those concepts. And what that did was build an identity within me. That I wasn't sure I wasn't sure what was taking place in the moment, but my identity was coming up and I always say this here, you can never out earn your identity. So as you go into journeys in life and you seek out entrepreneurship, you seek out these challenges, you have to increase your identity first in order to, for the income to fall. So 2015 was a year of re redefining who I was as a man, my identity, and entrepreneurship. And as I went through that year, the struggles, um, cars being repo, when we look back on where we were then, where we're at now, uh, it was all worth it because the following year, guys, after about a year of struggling in entrepreneurship, thinking I wanted to quit, thinking, you know what, man, this is not for me. And unfortunately, well, fortunately for my wife and I, my ego was too big. I didn't want to go back to Apple. I'm not going back to my former job. I'm going to stick this thing out. And we fought, and we fought. In the following year, um, we're able to come out of our, our slump in business, um, make some pretty good income. We we're able to, able to rematch what we made at Apple the following year in entrepreneurship. And then from there, our income has more than doubled every single year. Sacrifice is, is necessary for gain. It's necessary. And, and, and whatever you're going for out there, whatever you want to accomplish and goals you're looking for. For me, um, who is Chris Hart? I'm somebody who understands the level of sacrifice and service to, to earn something. And for me, sacrificing my job, sacrificing my guaranteed check, sacrificing the income, sacrificing the name of the company I work for, the corporation I work for. Uh, I have to sacrifice all these things. But, but through sacrifice, um, what happens is it builds faith. I can tell you right now um, that entrepreneurship for myself for my family, for my wife, for my kids has been a blessing in our lives. It's allowed us to realize that we can tap into our God-given gifts and abilities. Um, we all have strengths, we have talents, we have gifts. The challenge is we don't always tap into them. And the, the, a job at a time was holding me back from tapping into who I really was as a, as a man. And so we have, we, have, we have abilities beyond beliefs. The challenge is mediocrity is ingrained to us from, the, from birth to live a mediocre life, to, to live a mediocre life, to live a life that does not demand more of you. And so I can tell you now, becoming an entrepreneur has demanded so much more of me as a man, uh, but to allow me to level up and grow into the purpose God's called me to. And so without sacrifice, there is no gain. Without sacrifice, you can't cast vision. And so I live life in, the, in a moment of, of, of this, these principles. I keep one eye on today, I keep one eye on tomorrow. I get past what I'm going through by focusing on what I'm going to. I've chose to live life of service. I've chose to maximize my God-given gifts and abilities. I believe that anybody who, who, who commits their life to these concepts here, um, those who serve the most will always earn the most. Uh, whatever ability you have, whatever talent you have, whatever gift you have, if you can sing, good at photography, whatever gifts you have, God has placed into your, your heart, you gotta unpack them. You have to unpack these gifts and talents. The challenge is the world will challenge you, will, will, will defy you, and go against you. But as you push through these challenges here, as you tap into your God-given gifts and abilities, there's a service you can give to others when doing so. And this service is a service that God wants for the world. And so if you can seek out what your strengths, talents, and gifts are on this earth, and find a way to cultivate these gifts. Find a way to be in an environment where you're being challenged and being pushed and being fostered to improve your skills and abilities. That service now rendered to others brings income to you because the value you give to the world is what you give back. So whatever your income is, whatever your level of purpose is, whatever you're at in life, I'm not saying that your life is measured by income, but on this earth, we place a value on what we make. Entrepreneurship will test you, 
It will, it, it will forge you, it will magnify your weaknesses. And if you grow as an individual and come out that fire, that flame the other side, you're refined like gold. Refined like gold. Refined like gold. Refined like gold. Refined like gold.